Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -oh. Here comes the performance. I thought I was going to get to escape this portion no. of the show. No one escapes Nadine. Hello there, Nadine. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I'm good. Where, I'm good. Can you I give you a hug? lost weight. <laughs> no. put, put that on your church sign. This, this kid ought to be about this big, you know? <laughs> I don't understand why he's here doing this. Is this where my dad normally stands? He does. Sits. Yeah. Right. And he looks at me with devotion. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set this one here. I'll be looking at you the whole time. Oh, well, and look at He's not here to steal your cherry on I was going <laughs> to let Adam do that. I would feel better if you took a big old bite out of that. You would? Uh -huh, make all me right. feel better. I'll do it for you. All right. It's all whipped cream is what I'm getting. Makes me thank you, Papa's here. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that good? That'll put on the pounds real fast. I know. We need to In get a him a couple way, of those. Yeah. 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 I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I got plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Your papa makes sure there's plenty out there for me. <laughs> we got Ronnie Reno and his group here today. Good to see y'all. You too, Nadine. I saw you over at the Nashville Palace not long ago. Yes. And I was talking to Heath. I, his wife ran up. She saw me talking to Heath. She was a little jealous, I think. <laughs> and I uh, ran over there to catch him and his... Uh, his little boy scared death of me. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought with all this beauty, nobody be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's good to have y'all. Nice to, have to be you. here, Dee Dee. So you got a boy named Brandon, don't you? I do. My oldest son is yeah. named Brandon. I do, too. He's kind my of middle name. My middle name's Brandon, too. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. And you have a son, Brandon. Yeah, so we're all... Yep. We, a new group. We're yep. closer than we thought. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. I used to... I used to go to, when I, we went to church together, yeah. and they'd bring, him and his cute little wife would bring that little boy in, and they didn't feed him sweets. They were health food people, <laughs> you know. And so they would drop him off with me for about 30 minutes while they had to go do some stuff. And so I, pre, I uh, presented that little boy with a Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> I didn't think. It's all over. I never thought about asking the mom and daddy. Yeah. And his eyes got about that big. He put that in his mouth and <laughs> well, he you know, loved me ever since. I, right. asked, I asked my granddaughter one time. I said, "How do you like that chocolate cake, Maddie?" She said, "It makes me Casey." <laughs> I assume the same thing with those donuts. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. Well, does it? Does it? I went into church yesterday and. Well, Sunday, mm -hmm. whatever day that was. Yeah. I don't know if you it was You go every yesterday. day, though, don't you? I go just about every yeah. day, yeah. I have to. Sure. you got to clean the place and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and go down to the altar and pray about every day, about something. Homer, really. <laughs> but uh, we went in there, and I tell you what, Homer went sound asleep like he always does. Does it every, every week. And I could tell preacher was getting mad at him. And uh, I thought, oh, Lord, here it comes. So we was going out the door, and sure enough, preacher stopped me, and he said, Nadine, when Homer goes to sleep like that, you could at least reach over and punch him and wake him up. I said, buddy, let me tell you something. You put him to sleep, you wake him up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You know, at this age, Homer's sort of like a little fold in the hands, a little slumber, a little sleep. The sermon's over. I went over there the other day. I had to go in there and answer the phone while the secretary took somebody out to lunch. And uh, they had a fire department guy come in there, and he was looking around and everything. He walked up to me at the counter, and he said, don't y'all have a sprinkler system? I said, no, we don't have no sprinkler system. We're Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you have to go on over to the Methodist. They're right next door. They got one, I think. Yeah, ba yeah Baptists have full immersion systems. They yeah. don't have yeah, yeah. sprinkling yet. Yeah. Mm -mm. We had a membership drive last week. We drove off about 35. <laughs> I was talking to my brother about church, his church, and uh, he said, uh, <laughs> you can go ahead. Your daddy your likes it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. You know something I don't know? No, no anyway, it's um, funny. Uh, we was in, I was talking to my brother in Arizona, and he said the preachers out there are having a hard time getting people to think about life after death because in the winter it's so beautiful. They don't really think that much about heaven, and in the summer it's so hot. They ain't afraid of hell. <laughs> So, well, I'm going to go on over and put the sign up. All right, then. And it's going to say, the devil don't care if you go to church and read your Bible as long as you don't apply it to your life. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. right, ain't it? Whoa. That's powerful. Hey, y'all. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe, 
like, and ring the bell.